Next, we're going to use the ability of Acrobat to do a little bit of math for us. So I'm going to go up to the Zoom In tool here, and I'm going to zoom in on this area of the form, which is the number of cartons, quantity per carton, and total quantity fields. The problem that I want to solve here is the lack of some people's ability to do math, including my own. If you type in 10 cartons and you have 12 units per carton, that's 120 units. But sometimes when people fill this form out, they might type 10, 12, and 12, as you can see here, and that's a mistake. And so to eliminate that mistake, I'm just going to allow Acrobat to calculate this value directly from the values that are put in for the number of cartons and the quantity per carton. So I'm going to return to the text field tool, and you can see that these fields are already here. And I'm going to open this text field, which is the total quantity. Now, to do what it is that I have advocated that you do, I am going to name this field, and we'll call it total QTY, and select close. If you look at this field here, you can see that it says text 9. And one of the reasons that I advocate that you name these fields has to do with what we're about to do to the total quantity field. So I just wanted to point that out because we're going to see what kind of problems can be caused by not naming your fields appropriately. Now, I'm going to select Calculate, because what I want this field to do is calculate the values based on information that is in other fields. So I'll select Value is the not sum of, but the product of. And I can also choose Average, Minimum, and Maximum if I want to. Those are pre-built calculation functions that I can choose. Now, if I want to go further than that and I want to create very, very complex calculations, I'm welcome to do so by using a custom calculation script. What I would do here is actually use JavaScript, not Java, but JavaScript, to produce a custom calculation. I can do that. Now, I'm not going to do that. I am simply going to choose value is the product of, and I want to pick the fields from which to calculate the value. And this is where you can see why naming your fields is important. I have no idea what text 9 is really supposed to be. I do know that the number of cartons is something that I want to calculate. And because we talked about it, I do happen to remember that text 9 is the other field. But if I didn't know that, and I were working on this form late at night, and I had to get it done, this could be an obstacle to my being able to work efficiently. So I'll select OK. And I'm going to close this dialog box. And I will return to the hand tool, because I want to test it. Now, you'll notice that automatically, Acrobat went ahead and changed the value in that field to 120, which is the correct value. So let me change the quantity per carton so that you can see that this text field will stay up to date. And there you go. No matter what I type into these fields, the value is calculated. Now, there's one more thing that I want to do here, and I want to show you about the formatting for this particular field set, because I've chosen numbers here, and there are some options that I have that are worth exploring. So I'm going to return to the text field tool, and I'm going to select the quantity per carton field. And first off, just because it's really chafing me, I'm going to give this field a name, quantity per. And I'm going to go back to the format option here. In this case, I've chosen as my format option number. The reason that I brought it up is because you have a variety of choices that you can make here. If you're using numbers that are supposed to represent currency, you can actually choose particular currency symbols. You can also choose different separator styles. So if this form is designed to go to Europe, for example, you might want to use different separators. The thing that I did here, though, was that I removed the decimal places because this particular product can't be cut in halves or tenths or whatever. So I wanted to make sure that there were no decimals in these numbers. And that's why I chose the particular formatting that I chose. So we'll go ahead and close this. And I've completed this aspect of the form.